Okay, so here is your one finished panel. Now, I've added fringe already because I'm actually going back to do this video after I've already finished. And you can see it's very stretchy. It needs to be blocked, but you get a lot of stretch out of this piece. And I just added, here's your end that you did your cro uh, single crochet on the side and added, uh, I did about every six stitch I did fringe. I went all the way around here. It's real long, so it's about 50 inches long. You can make this as long as you want, but this is a poncho size. But also, now I'm going to turn it this way, and you'll see I'm going to add my second panel and then sew up and make my neckline on both sides. So it's going to be sewn together like this, and then you can so up your sides and you'll see in my next in my next uh, segment. You see I have two panels and I've single crocheted them together, left an opening for the neckline and repeated the single crochet down the same length on the opposite side. So I've added fringe in about every six stitch around the sides and the bottom. And you can wear it this way as a tunic. I, you can uh, you can also choose to sew in the middle and if you don't want the single crochet. I kind of like this seam. It's just fun. I like a little texture to my items. But you can decide what you want to do if you want to sew it up or if you want a single crochet. And you can do the same on the sides. If you want to sew this up and leave an arm opening for a tunic, you can do that as well. Or you can just leave it open. You can tie the fringe to close it. Um, you can wear it the opposite way to the side for a poncho as well. Uh, you can see it's very stretchy. So once you block it, it'll stretch out a little bit more too. And this yarn gives it a nice weight. That's why I like this yarn for the flat panels. So let me just show you real quick. If you go this way, here's your poncho. And then you can always add because it's kind of short, but like I said, I'm going to block it and make it longer, but you can add single crochet to the bottom or I mean double crochet or any crochet, whatever you want, a couple of rows to make this longer too, which would be really fun. And plus single crochet around the um, neckline to create your a nice finished edge. So there you have it. Here's your poncho. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And thanks for joining me and have a great day.